So, uh, you know, my, my rant for the day, as it were, over at uh, HartmanReport.com is titled The GOP Freedom Scam Laid Bare. There's a restaurant in California. This is just, you know, a great piece about this, by the way, over at Daily Co's this morning. A restaurant in California is now requiring proof in order to be seated and served in this restaurant, you must provide to them proof that you are not vaccinated. Seriously. The owner told the Los Angeles Times, we choose to fire another missile of defiance to further make our point in defense of American liberty and freedom. And, you know, Republicans have been running this freedom scam for a very, very long time. Right? John Sununu, uh, earlier this week, signed a new bill called the Medical Freedom Act of New Hampshire that makes it illegal for any public venue to require vaccinations to, for attendance. In Florida, Ron DeSantis signed a new freedom bill that says the cruise lines can't require proof, or, or Disney World, or anybody. Nobody can require proof of vaccination. You know, a dozen Republican states now have passed laws that, that largely hit small businesses saying you can't require co, you know, proof of vaccination to come in. Um, here in Oregon, the Freedom Foundation, another one of these right-wing organizations, uh, has sued our governor to prevent freedom, uh, to prevent vaccine passports. And, and Nebraska's billionaire governor, Pete Ricketts, uh, says he's opposed to requiring proof of vaccination because it limits freedom. Now, these re, re, this, this process of redefining freedom goes literally in the Republican Party, literally started in January of 1921, exactly 100 years ago this year, when Warren Harding, the, the guy who became president on January, on, in fact, it might have been March, actually, it was March 6th of 1921. I guess I should edit this because uh, you know we changed when presidents become uh, presidents from March to January uh, during the, the Franklin Roosevelt administration. But anyhow, when, when uh, Warren Harding said, we're going to deregulate the banks, we're going to deregulate the stock brokerage houses because of freedom. And, you know, to this day, Republicans have been slapping the word freedom on everything they can find. Remember, the, uh, there's the Freedom Caucus in Congress, right? This is the, the, I call them the Cokehead Caucus. They're the ones who are all supported by, by the Coke Network. Um, Trump's Department of Energy re renamed uh, methane, natural gas, as Freedom Gas. Um, remember Freedom Fries in the, in the House cafeteria? There's the Freedom from Big Tech Caucus that Josh Hawley has started and is pushing in Congress. Uh, to you know they're, they're the ones complaining that Donald Trump isn't on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, Republican voters are apparently such suckers for anything that has the word freedom on it that uh, the uh, youngest uh, Bitcoin billionaire, a guy by the name of um, Eric Finman, is selling these uh, Chinese, cheap Chinese uh, cell phones, kind of generic. They, they'll make them with your brand on them. He's selling them as uh, freedom phones. They're apparently more vulnerable to hacking than normal phones, by the way. But I would make the point that this is just a complete scam, that you're not free if you're old and broke. And that's why we have Social Security, to guarantee freedom. Although the Republicans want to hand it over to Wall Street. You're not free if you're hungry. And that's why we have food stamps, you know, SNAP, although Republicans want to end that. You're not free if you're homeless, which is why we have housing assistance and homeless shelters, although the Republicans want to do away with those things. You're not free if you work 40 hours a week and still can't meet basic expenses, and that's why we have a minimum wage in unions, although the Republicans are trying to destroy both of those things. You're not free if you're sick and you can't get medical care, which is why we have Medicare, Medicaid, and Obamacare, although the, and, and you know, we're, uh, there's a big rally on Friday, by the way, I'll tell you about that later on, um, to, you know, to expand Medicare, but that's why we have these things. You're not free if you can't read, which is why we have free public schools. And we should have free colleges, but the Republicans are trying to privatize our schools and ban you know, or, or you know, maintain a trillion and a half dollars in student debt. And, of course, you're not free if you can't vote. And Republicans have passed anti-voting laws in more than one-third of our states now, voter suppression laws. Which raises the question, how are they going to rebrand their voter suppression laws as freedom? I'm guessing they're going to say it's freedom from fraud. That's my prediction. We'll see.
But I guarantee you, they're going to figure out a way to slap the word freedom on these voter suppression bills as well. It's totally bizarre. The whole rant with the links and everything is over at HartmanReport.com. We'll pick up your phone calls on the other side of this break. What do you think about this? How is this COVID uh, information going to change your life?